Hi, my name is Holly Jackson and this is a tutorial on Apple Classroom. I'm going to be showing you how to set up Apple Classroom and use some of its basic functionality. As you can see, I have two iPads on display here. I have the student iPad on the left and the teacher iPad on the right. I'm going to show you how to set up your Apple Classroom and just a little bit of basics about what it can do. So I'm going to tap on the Classroom app in the teacher iPad and I have it down at the bottom in the dock. It's the orange icon there. To get started, you would need to download this app from the App Store on your teacher iPad. I'm going to tap Create a New Class. I'm going to name my class. Let's call this First Block. I can change the color if I like. Tap Done. All right, and so now to get my students in the class, you'll see when I tap on the class, I'm gonna allow the notifications. Um, it tells me to add students. So I'm gonna tap add where there's a little plus sign. Now to join the class, you'll see directions there at the very bottom on the teacher iPad. It says tell your students go to the class, go to classroom in the settings app on their iPads to add the class. So I'm gonna tap on settings on the left iPad. And you can see that Classroom shows up there in my settings. So I'm going to tap on Classroom as a student. And I'm going to add first block as my, my class. Notice that it asks for a code. So I'm going to put in the code that my teacher has on display. 6994 add. All right, and you'll display that for all your students. And then as all your students add that code, you'll see them all show up um, in your class. All right, so as a student, that's all I really have to do. As a teacher, I'm gonna tap add once all my students show up here. So just imagine there's like 25 students showing up. I'm gonna tap add. And now I have a student in my class. All right, so um, one thing you're, you're gonna be able to see is whatever the student is on. So if the student opens up uh, photos, for example, or if, say, they open up um, pages, it should show you what app that they are on, okay? So you can see a little icon popping up there about what, what app that they're on. If I open up um, numbers, it should open up on their iPad and tell me what they're on. All right, so I can see what my student's doing. I can add more students. I'm going to go through the toolbar at the top. I can open my students into an app. So I can choose an app that I know that they have on their um, iPad. So I'm going to tap on clock. Say I want them to set a timer. So notice that the clock opens up on my student iPad. I can navigate my students to a website. Um, so say I want to navigate them to Safari and I'm just going to take them to Google. All right, so there they go to Google. All right, I'm going to tap Done. Um, I'll open my student back into the clock. All right, um, another thing I can do is I can lock my student's iPad. Notice that it says that my, student, my iPad has been locked. I can unlock it by tapping unlock. I can mute a student, which will turn off all of their sound. Um, I can also see the screens of every student in my class. So you can see on the right hand side, as I leave a screen, um, it'll show you what my screen is doing. If I had multiple students in this class, I could group them into a group and I could name the group. Um, so if I had group A, then I could select all the students that I had in group A. That way if I needed to navigate or see a whole group of students, I could see them all in one spot. All right, so that is an introduction to Apple Classroom. Thank you for watching this tutorial on Apple Classroom. Um, be sure to subscribe, like, and follow us by clicking the links below in the description.